All right, so in this video, we are going to be taking a water sample and we're gonna be measuring the amount of free chlorine that's in that sample, the so-called chlorine residual. Again, looking for a residual to be between 0.2 and two milligram per liter, but absolutely no greater than four milligrams per liter. So this is the kit we're gonna be using. This is a, a field kit you would often use. The brand on this particular one is Hawk, but there are different companies that make this. Um, we're gonna be using the DPD method. Now DPD, fancy name for diethylphenylenediamine, and that is one of the reagents that is reacting with the chlorine, and in that reaction, it turns pink. So the darker the pink color, the more chlorine. Uh, no pink color means there's no chlorine in there. So we're gonna be testing free chlorine today. So this is what our uh, comparator looks like. Basically, inside here is a color wheel that shows us kind of different colors. And the darker that pink color, the um, higher the chlorine uh, in our sample. So what we're gonna end up doing is we're going to use this color wheel. We're going to take two samples uh, from our water sample. One of those is gonna be our blank. So we're gonna just take just water with no reagent in there. This way we're comparing against the actual water sample. Um, in our water sample that's gonna be our blank, we're just gonna cap it. We're gonna leave that in our comparator. The water sample we're actually testing we're gonna add our DPD reagent. This particular field kit comes with a free chlorine and a total chlorine. We're gonna be using free chlorine, which is what we're testing here. Again, it says it on the little packet if you get your packets mixed up. We're gonna be adding that reagent into our sample. You should get all of it. Uh, this is definitely uh, something that can be irritating to the skin as well as the eyes. Um, so that's why I'm wearing proper PPE. We've now added our reagent to our sample. We're gonna shake that up really well. We are then going to wait one minute and we're gonna read our sample. Uh, it's really important with free chlorine that we read pretty quickly within that um, one minute time frame. With our total chlorine, you would wanna wait three minutes and then take your reading, but no more than six minutes. Otherwise the sample will change and the color will start to change. So let's give it a minute. Start our timer, see where we're at. So it's been a minute. There's definitely some pink color that's developed in our sample. If I hold it against the white, you can definitely see it's there. So sample with our reagent in it versus the blank. We are now going to take our, our color wheel and we're gonna to try to match these two samples together. Hopefully you can see this. Blank, this is our sample. So as we turn the color wheel, we wanna be able to try to match what's on one side and what's on the other side. That's definitely not it. So this looks like it's right at about 0.2 milligram per liter uh, at our end use here. Keeping in mind that the sample I took here was from our sinks. This water lab um, hasn't been used since yesterday. So the water that's been in these pipes has been sitting in here for about 24 hours. So depending on where your sample's taken, you're gonna have to flush. You wanna make sure you get a representative sample, especially since this is what we call a grab sample. It's just a sample in one moment of time. So this is a second water sample I took. Instead of adding the free chlorine residual, I added the total chlorine reagent into here. So we're measuring total chlorine. Remember that's not chlorine that's free, it's chlorine that can be bound to anything as well. Typically seeing free chlorine um, is a good sign because it means that uh, that chlorine has not yet reacted with anything in that water, such as contaminants or pathogens. So now I'm gonna take my total chlorine sample, place it in the comparator. Hopefully we can see this. This one's definitely a little bit darker than our, our uh, free chlorine. So still a little bit darker, a little bit darker. Uh, that's probably too dark. So 0.4 seems a little light, 0.6 seems a little dark. So we're probably right at 0 0.5 milligrams per liter. So that's where we wanna be. Uh, keep in mind that these reagent packets, they do expire. So if it's been sitting in your truck or you got a hand-me-down truck from another operator, uh, and it's been a couple of years, definitely take a look at the shelf life on these reagents before you use them. So that's it. Chlorine, free chlorine, total chlorine. Uh, this is how we'd measure it out in the field.